The science of anesthesia has really come a long way in the last century or so. Originally, when people were, were applying anesthesia, they had no idea how it worked. But now we know very, very clearly how anesthesia works. We know how our anesthetic agents affect the brain. We know which parts of the brain are affected. And we know very reliably and safely how to produce a state of anesthesia in just about every human being, from very small infants, premature babies, right up to very advanced extremes of age, and in patients who are very sick and have organs which are failing, or traumas, injuries, disease of one kind or another. And we can do that very reliably and very safely for the overwhelming majority of patients. Anesthesia is no longer about one drug. It's not just about the smelly liquid on the handkerchief. There's an armamentarium of pharmacology which is available to us. And we use a variety of drugs to produce different effects in anesthesia. Unconsciousness, pain control, relaxation of the muscles, uh, relief of sickness afterwards, antibiotics, fluids, uh, all kinds of things that we give. And it's a little bit like cookery. You sometimes have to give a little bit more salt, sometimes a little bit more pepper, just to get the recipe absolutely right. And that's where I think that the role of the anaesthetist is as much art as it is science. The scientific underpinning, underpinnings of anaesthesia are rock solid, but on top of that there is an art, and that art involves experience, it involves judgment, it also involves compassion, it involves a desire to take care of the patient and to make sure they get through the very best that they can.